Very impressed with the company's fundamentals. They are cash flow positive, no debt, strong partnerships, and a world-class group of leaders and researchers tapping into the monster market of anti-aging and NAD plus space. This is Chromadex stock, ticker CDXC. If you remember, we called this stock out back in March at $1.60. It ran almost 200% to $4.65, never once went red, and is still holding over 100% from where it's currently trading. But the most impressive is Q3 2024 results. We are proud to report our best quarter to date, achieving 25.6 million in revenue, an impressive 31% increase year over year, supported by strong gross margin of 63.5%, with record-setting net income of 1.9 million and healthy cash flows that have grown our operating cash to 32.4 million, said Chromadex CEO Rob Fried. These results reflect our growing financial strength and set the stage for even greater success. This quarter also marks the first sales of our Niagen Plus products, and we look forward to further extending their availability to more wellness clinics, as well as continue to drive innovative health solutions to our customers. Now, the full year 2024 guidance, the company expects approximately 15% revenue growth year over year, driven by continued revenue growth through our e-commerce business, as well as established partnerships and includes upside from Niagen Plus product launch. The company projects gross margins will improve slightly year over year. Moreover, selling and marketing expense will increase in absolute dollars, but remain stable as a percentage of net sales as the company continues to make focused investments to drive brand awareness and support new market launches while maintaining efficiency. The company plans to continue to invest in R&D to drive future innovation and expects general and administrative expense to be down approximately $1.5 million year over year. Now, the company has over 90 patents, strategic partnerships with blue chip companies, and they're tapping into a massive market, which is anti-aging, which is expected to increase to some $93 billion by 2027. This is not something that you should overlook. Definitely a company that you want on your radar, especially now that anti-aging and NAD plus is mainstream. So when you take a look at all the major publications, NAD plus is generating serious buzz among influential elites, top athletes, and celebrities endorsing NAD+. Now, the company has four very impressive verticals. The first is consumer health, Niagen and their true Niagen. The second is the IV and injectables, which we'll talk about in a moment. Third is pharmaceuticals with clinical studies further along in Parkinson's disease and ataxia as well. Vertical number four, anti-aging skincare and facial injectables, which we know, especially in the entertainment business, very, very popular. As we look in the upcoming years, we see a growing portfolio, next generation NAD plus precursors, very strong management team. The financials look great. Like we said, no debt, tight cap structure. The insiders own a good chunk of the company, I believe about 37%. All of the analyst price targets are north of $6 here. Definitely something to, again, make a note of. It's been held down a long time as the business continued to improve fundamentally. And what I saw, very interesting, BlackRock reported 245% increase ownership of Chromadex. This was back in August. Again, they only had around 900,000 shares. Now they have north of 3.1 million. So I definitely think that they were buying the dip. They were getting it right at the lows. That investment should be super green here. And as we're starting to see, it is moving very, very well into the extended hours. So again, these are the types of companies that I'm trying to focus on. Chromadex is a strong fundamental business. They're not getting involved with bad financing, toxic issuers that are going to, again, dilute the stock, drag the price down. We see that endless cycle with so many many different tickers and they just can't get out of it. So this is one with a real product, a real business. They spent over 100 million into R&D. This is definitely something that is going to grow and I believe become a household name over the next five to 10 years. So leave a comment in the section below if you played Chromadex stock or if you're involved with any other biotechs. And if I'm missing any names, anything I must keep on my radar going into November, please feel free to let me know in the section below. Again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic night. And as always, we'll see you in the next one.